Hello, my name is Anna Marie. I'm the delivery specialist for Subaru of Pembroke Pines and today we're going to be going over the technology of our 2021 Outback. In our infotainment system, this is the 11.6 screen that you're going to find on the Outback or on the Legacy for now, 2020. It's separated into three different categories. This first screen that you find here will play any type of music that you're playing on your FM, AM, Sirius, or Bluetooth. Next screen is just a clear screen. Then you have your acceleration percentage, you have your fuel consumption, and you have the angle that you might be going up or down mountains. It shows you the weather and it lets you turn on your X mode off or turn it on. Now in the middle of the screen you're going to find everything that has to do with all of the applications that are available on your Subaru. So the first one is Maps. Your Maps is with TomTom Tom Navigation and it's pretty user friendly. You just have to go to Menu, Search and you can search by address if you know your address or it can search by point of interest meaning you're going to a Walmart, a Costco, BJ's, a Trader Joe's. And then you can also add home if you want to add your home address. All recent destinations will populate under recent destinations. You can add favorites, meaning if you want to add your daughter's home, your son's home, your personal home, you can add it also as a favorite. Um, you have my routes, you have point of interest, parking lots, gas stations, map updates, and legal information about TomTom Tom navigation. So under your radio, you're going to find FM, AM, and Sirius. Sirius, you have it for three months. We gift it to you for three months. After three months, you guys will get in contact with them, and uh, you can go ahead and activate your subscription. In order to save stations, you'll first tune into the station that you want. Once you're at the station that you want, in order to save it, all you have to do is press and hold on the number that wants to be saved. Once you hear the beep, it's going to be saved. You have media. Media is whatever you stream through your phone. So if you're connected to the Bluetooth, it'll populate your music under your phone. Now I'm going to show you how to pair your phone. So you're going to click on phone and then you're going to go to uh, accept yes. And it's going to start searching for the Bluetooths around wherever you're at. So you're going to go onto your phone to your settings. You're going to go to your Bluetooth and at the bottom where it says other devices, Subaru should populate. You're going to click on Subaru. It's then going to ask you to confirm the PIN number. Once it's the same number, you're going to click pair and it's going to proceed to ask you if you want to download your contacts. I'm going to allow my contacts and then it's going to ask you here if you want to transfer your contacts. So you're going to click yes. It'll do the pairing and now your phone's connected. The next app is your applications. Uh, your applications, once the car is purchased, your Subaru Starlink will populate. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are only used when you are connected through the USB cord. Travel Link gives you uh, fuel prices. It gives you sports. You would select the sport that you want to know about. It gives you stocks. You would add your stocks. It gives you your weather. It gives you weather alerts and parking alerts. And then down here, you have your current weather, your three to six hour weather, your five day forecast. And along the route is if you're going from point A to point B and you're using your TomTom -tom navigation. Under car information, it shows you uh, your driving statistics. So where the traction is being sent to your tires, any type of degree angle that you might be going up mountains, down mountains, or if you're off-roading. The advanced package shows you all the smart features that your car brings and if you press information, you will see a short description of what each of them do. So in case you ever forget what any of your smart features do, you can come back and look through your advanced package. And maintenance, um, it tells you when you should be coming in for maintenance. Maintenance is every 6,000 miles or 6 months and it's full synthetic oil. The next option is My Subaru. Your My Subaru, um, once it's purchased, is going to populate for you. Up here, you have your emergencies and your roadside assistance that will be activated when you purchase the car as well. And then under settings, you're going to find everything that has to do uh, with your general settings, which is changing the time, your display brightness, Wi Fi, um, Wi Fi hotspot, reminder screen, meter screen camera, your climate control, language, tire pressure, 
home screen shortcuts, welcome screen, goodbye screen. And you can add birthday list, anniversary list, periodic rest notifications, software updates. If you guys ever need a type of update, you would come here to software updates and I'll let you know if there is a update that came out. Under sound, you can change your sound position uh, and you can change the volume of the sound when somebody calls you. Under navigation, if you want to avoid highways, if you want to avoid tolls, it also tells you traffic warning tones, so it actually populates when there's traffic, that way you don't get stuck in traffic. And under phone, this is where we'll come to pair a device. Uh, eight devices can be paired to um, any Subaru, one can be connected at a time. Under your radio, it has just your FM, AM, and Sirius. And under car, we go a little bit more into our eyesight monitoring system, um, our eyesight assist monitor, reverse automatic braking, driver monitoring system, keyless entry system, our defogger, our welcome lighting, one touch lane changer, our auto door lock and unlock our mirror settings, and then we can turn off our auto vehicle hold. We can uh, turn off also our auto start stop, or we can engage it on. And we can turn off the blind spot detect and the rear cross traffic alert. So that is everything that you have on your middle screen. On the right hand side, you're also going to find where you can create driver profiles. You can create up to eight driver profiles. One can be connected with every Bluetooth that's paired. And then you're gonna have your vehicle control dynamics, which you can access most of this information also through your settings, your driving assistance, and then you have others, which is the warning volumes of your um, smart features, your units, and the driver monitoring system if you wanna leave it on or if you wanna shut it off. On the bottom portion, you're gonna find um, everything that has to do with your AC. So on the left-hand side, if you click on it, you're gonna be able to control the temperature. If you sync it, it will grab whatever the driver's side's temperature is and it'll pull it also through the passenger side. You can also activate seat warmers or the ventilated fan. Right in the middle, you're gonna find everything that has to do with your max AC, if you want your AC to be automatic, recirculating AC. And then down here, you're, you have the positions on how you want the air to come out and the speed of your AC. The AC can be controlled also through the side uh, buttons. And then you have your front defogger and you have your side defogger and your side mirrors. Now I'm going to teach you how to create a driver profile. You're going to go down here to the little icon. We're going to go ahead and add the driver profile. We're going to first select the language or we'll click next. We'll add the driver's name. So just go ahead and add the name, click next. You'll press next again and you'll select the phone that you want to associate that name with. So Anna's iPhone, finish and your driver profile has been set. So now I'm gonna teach you about your cruise control in your Subaru. There's two types of way that you can use your cruise control in your car. One of them is called the adaptive cruise control. So to activate your cruise control, you'll go ahead and press the top right corner button and your screen is gonna change. So you're gonna be able to see your car and then you're gonna see lines in front of your car. Each line in front of your car is 10 feet away. The maximum distance that you can do is 40 feet, which you would go up with the cruise control button right next to it, the one that has the arrow pointing up. And the maximum you can do is 40 feet. The minimum you can do is 10 feet and you would just press the bottom one, the arrow pointing towards you, down. And to set your cruise control, you'll accelerate to the miles per hour that you want to drive at, and then you'll set it by pressing the middle gear down. Under adaptive, once you hit your miles per hour and you've set it, if you want to go up in miles per hour, you would go with the with this same button, you will go up and it goes up by five miles per hour and it goes down by five miles per hour. That's on adaptive cruise control. The car, once the car has detected the car in front of you, it's gonna keep that distance between your car and the car in front of you, depending on the distance that you set it to be at. Now to go into conventional cruise control, you'll press and hold the up arrow the lines will be taken away in front of your car and now you're controlling the car you're accelerating and you're braking your vehicle when you set your cruise control when you go up in miles per hour or down in miles per hour it goes up by one mile per hour and it goes down by one mile per hour 
So now we're looking at the lane departure prevention function, which is the bottom one underneath your adaptive cruise control. When we hit it, it's gonna populate and it's gonna say ready. Once it's detected the car in front of you, it's gonna follow the car in front of you. You can use it when operating adaptive cruise control or you can use it alone. On the left hand side, you're gonna find the top two arrows which are for your preset stations to go forward or backwards. Then you have your volume going up or volume going down. You have your source button, which your source button will navigate through FM, AM, Sirius, or Bluetooth and you don't have to touch your radio screen. And then you have the speaking person. That is your voice command in order for you to command your car to do something while driving. You also have answering and hanging up calls. Now I'm going to teach you how to pair your driver monitoring system. So first what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. Under car, you're going to click car. Then you're going to go to driver monitoring system. We're going to go to register user. You're going to want to make sure that before you do this, you've positioned your seat and your side mirrors to where you want it to be at. Once it's positioned, you'll select under which number you want to be at. I'll go ahead and click number one. Then you'll proceed to looking forward and it'll tell you register user information, face forward until you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, we're gonna go ahead and label it with our name. We'll click next. It lets you choose an icon. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the butterfly and it's there for you now when you get out of the car and you turn the car back on it'll position your seat and your side mirrors just in case somebody else has driven the car before i hope all this information helped you guys out if you guys have any future questions please contact me at 954-443-2575